That was Queens Reich with IMI. Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. And right now we've got a couple of the guys from COC here. And you guys have a nice schedule last night. I mean, we're in New York right now. Last night, you guys played. La La Los yeah. Angeles. Yes, so that's did. a good schedule. You went right off the stage. Flying. Into a mall right onto your private stage. jet. Still right. Got, flew still right here. Last night. I can still tell. Still stinking. And this is true. He is still stinking. How was the show last night? Good. Playing Los Angeles. So yeah, you're in the middle of a tour more. right now then, right? Yes. And smack dab in the middle of it. And how long is this tour going on for? I guess we end up back here in the end of November or something. A couple days after Thanksgiving. And COC again has made member changes. I mean, you guys have been in the band. Well, how long have, because for some people, I mean, there's some people that are still Ow. thinking that COC is a new band. Right. Which you are in a new band, because you're always like kind of changing members, sort of, but you've, the first COC started like, like 12 years ago. Right, it's kind of scary, but yeah. And I know the Reed was in the band now. Were you right. in the band? I was in the band. When they first started? Yeah. Exactly. And Mike Dean was in the band. And Mike Dean was in the band. And he's back in who's the band. Just, who's back in the band now. Right. Because Carl's out, and because you're singing, even though you were kind of singing a couple songs on the last album, right. but you weren't singing, you were playing bass? The guitar. You were playing guitar on the last album, right. Blind, and you sang on Vote With A Bullet. Correct. Am I, am I mixing everybody up? Everybody's am I confused. But I'm, I'm kind of right <laughs> on that, right? Sure. Now, through all the changes, this is the one thing. Do you think that the music scene today is like, I mean, I go to shows occasionally, and. It just, it seems like it's going in so many different directions and everybody's trying to do this. I mean, when you guys started, you guys were playing with bands like Minor Threat and stuff right, like that. Flag, and now, you know. yeah, and now you're out there playing with bands like, you know, whatever. Well, I mean, you, you know, but back then, too, we were playing with, we played with everybody back then, you know, we did dates but with But before, Slayer it wasn't as much of a, as a crossover. You wouldn't get as many, I mean, now you can go to a, you can go to a House of Pain show and see COC shirts and Black Flag shirts and everything. I mean, right. the, the music, I think everybody's kind of getting into a lot of different stuff. And before, it wasn't like that. Would you agree? Yeah, I would agree. Like, you couldn't get a metal band to play with a punk band. Yeah, I, and now I you got think... metal bands trying to sound like punk bands. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, am, so, am I wrong? No, no you're, you're right, right, man. You're right. And so, do you think that it now... It took, like, 10 years for it to all roll over, you know, and kind of jumble up together, you know? Now, I, I told you, there was after listening to the new record, the new record is out in your stores. It's called Deliverance. It looks something like this. Ouch. We're going to talk about it, and uh, the first song, Heaven's Not Overflowing, is, I think, one. In my opinion, one of the best songs on the record. We're going to play the video Albatross, and when I tell you what it reminded me of, I don't know if you're going to like it, but I'm going to tell you in a little bit. We're going to be back with more COC as the Headbangers Ball continues. <laughs> this flew. Right here. Right. I mean, stayed up all night flying on the plane. I'm sure right. you, you, you went to sleep as soon as you landed at the hotel, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. I buy that for uh, Of course. <laughs> the new record, Deliverance, is out. And I'm going to tell you with the second song, which is the video we're about to play, Albatross. OK? Is there anything you'd like to say about the song first? Uh, nothing other than it was a pretty big step for us, but we felt we could handle it. So that's the reason And what, what do you mean? like? You know what it sounded like to me? And, and I mean, this is not like an insult oh, at all. This no. is a compliment. <laughs> it sounded to me like like 90s, really heavy uh, uh, Leonard Skinner influence. Uh, is hey, that okay? That's fine, that's fine. Oh, good. Yeah, I can't deny it. Somebody said we that. sounded like uh, Leonard Skinner meets Charles Manson or something. Mad Eagles, and I was like, what the hell? But you know what Mad I mean? Eagles. It's like, when I heard the COC record, I go, hey, these guys, you know, they've been around for a long time. They've got all different music that they used to play with. And then when I heard the record, it sounded like it's more of the heavy kind of Southern influences, you know? Yeah, that's where we, that's where we're from. Oh, so know? I'm right. So it, wasn't, it wasn't a conscious thing. Good call, thing. Ricky. <laughs> it wasn't a conscious thing, you know, but. Because that, especially we Albatross. From, we ain't from New Jersey. But you put you, and you hear Albatross, you could still, like, the first time I heard it, I could tell that it was COC. Right. You know? Even though, and you're doing it all the just, vocals now, just, right? You know, we really concentrated on songwriting, you know, and wanted to write big, thick songs, and we gave it a shot, and that's what happened. Okay, well, let's uh, play the video, and you can Ow. see if you think I'm totally out of my mind again. This is COC with Albatross. Ow. Ouch. Brand new COC record. The record is called uh, Deliverance. You just saw the song and video for Albatross. And we were talking earlier that you guys made some member changes. Is there a reason? That COC always makes member changes? Mm, well, I, you know. Yeah. We're just keeping with tradition, you know? Yeah. <laughs> was it your idea to, I mean, when Carl, I don't know if he left the band or whatever, but was it your idea to say, did you say, hey, I can do all the vocals now? Yeah, you know, basically. We didn't want to bring anybody else into the picture, you know, and have it happen again. Uh -huh. So it was pretty much a conscious thing, and it wasn't, I felt like I could do it and pretty much do it well, and there you go. So where'd you record this video, this uh, record? We did it in Atlanta and mixed it in New mixed York. Mixed it up, yeah. 
at Electric Lady. Now, what's it like working there? Because that's like that where great. Hendrix did his stuff, right? Right, right. It was fun. You know, it ain't, it ain't no spiritual, mystical. Because you hear, you hear people tell stories like, yeah, man, I, I saw Jimmy. Sitting the one, in the, the one cool thing is I got to actually use the amp he played "Wind Cries Mary" on to do a solo, just to do it. Uh huh. Probably didn't use it, but just to say you did it. Yeah, we use it in the well, song. It's on, there, it's on yeah. a song, but it was this big blonde Marshall head that was beat to crap and loud as stuff, but it was cool. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna play a video right now from Nine Inch Nails, and then we're gonna come back and talk to COC. This is closer. Ow. That was Dream Theater with Lie, and we're here with COC, and we're gonna come back and talk to them just a little bit. We're gonna about to play something from Megadeth. Because who had a new record that just came out? But what, what's some new stuff that you like? Any new stuff that's on the stores that uh, you guys are really into? Man, man I really this is a good time to plug things. your friends, basically. Right. <laughs> that's I hate all. Gone. They're on tour just right now. I've been having fun. They make a lot of noise. They're from your hometown, right? Yeah. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Well, we're gonna come back talk to COC. Let me tell you about Megadeth. They released their record. Now, usually, you, it, it's it's nice when you enter really high on the charts. But when you have a record coming out the same week is the Black Crows, Mariah Carey, Tom Petty. You know, you think, oh, sh you know, this is a lot of competition. We'll see how I do compared to them. Well, they, he, Megadeth's record entered higher on the charts, entered the charts at number four, which was higher than Black Crows, Mariah Carey, or Tom Petty on their first week. So they had some pretty stiff competition. Very good for Megadeth. No. Megadeth's going to be starting a tour in New Year's, and uh, you'll be looking for them in a theater and driving near you. And, of course, the new record is called Euthanasia. And right now, let's play Train of Consequences from Megadeth. We're hanging out with COC. The record is called Deliverance. It's out in your stores. And there's also a record out in your stores called Nativity in Black, which is the Black Sabbath tribute. Right. And I think they uh, really did this record good because they got a lot of cool bands to play on it. We're going to play a video from uh, Biohazard in a little bit that's on that record. And you guys are on that record. Yes, we are. How were you approached to play on the Black Sabbath tribute record? Because everybody had been hearing about it for a long time. It was a weird. They asked us to do it, and we were, I mean, obviously COC is a band that's really into Black Sabbath. You know, and it was kind of weird because we were asked to do it, and we were like, what, what's the purpose of doing it? They already did it perfect the first time. You know, Who are we to come in and do one of their songs? You mm -hmm. know? Which we song did you do? Lord of this Lord World. Of we went in a little eight-track studio and did it live, man. You know, Did a couple overdubs and just tried to get the same mindset of what we thought they would be doing at the time and went in and did it. You know, No gated drums. Or anything. Now, when you do something by a legendary master, do you go in and say, let's do it this way, or do you say, let's do it like COC style? We That's what did doesn't it. sound the we same. We did it like we would do it, but we did it under the same conditions that they did it in back exactly. in the day. You know, and it was kind of like a contest. You know, like, let's see if we can pull it off. Yeah, I mean, we, it, it would have been more ridiculous. more of a vibe than anything. It'd be ridiculous to try to outdo it, you know, and like, just go in and do raw, bare bones and see how it comes out, you know. Do you feel that on this new record, back on the subject of Deliverance, do you feel that on this record you weren't as, I mean, you've always been a band that was, especially on the last record, that was a, dare I say, political? I mean, you were always spoke a lot and you were always very much involved with political beliefs and I, I think put, you know, a lot of the attitudes on the record. Do you think that you kind of straight away and just talked about different things that were going on with you this uh, record? I think it's just disguised better, you know, and more left open to interpretation, you know. And the last record, we really got pushed on that because of Vote with a Bullet and stuff, but we wanted to leave a lot of lyrics up to interpretation, you know, and not sit there and tell somebody, give them a history lesson, you know, and what's the point? Mm -hmm. This would be more of like a straight ahead rock and roll record, you think? Whatever you want to take it as, you know. We just write music and do what we like to do. Well, good luck with going out on the road, and right. hopefully COC is going to be out with another big band soon. We'll cross our fingers, and you'll hear about it, I'm sure. Well, as soon as I find out, I will tell you. I promise yeah. you. So stay tuned. we got more Headbangers Ball coming up in a bit. Adios.